What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. Today, we're not rebuilding anything, though. We're back here at David Stanley Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram off of Southeast 29th Street here in Midwest City. And we're here for a reason. You guys saw the thumbnail. You saw the title. There's no reason in prolonging the inevitable. So Caleb got a hold of me, and he said, Randy, you got to come buy this Chrysler 300. I'm kidding. I would never buy a Chrysler 300. But Caleb got a hold of me and said he's got this 2019 Challenger SRT Hellcat Red Eye Wide body 797 horsepower it's got the green belt when it's got the green belt that means it's serious business now it may be a 2019 okay but these cars are kind of hard to come by and they're certainly not cheap they're asking 84.9 for this but the mileage is right on it it's only got 3900 miles somebody already put their custom mopar no car decals it's got the carbon fiber package it's got the right wheels you got the carbon fiber stripes all the way down it is an absolutely beautiful, beautiful wide body red eye. Look at that right there. You know what they call it red eye? Because it's got a little tiny red gem in the eye right there. That's it. It's got the Pirelli P0s. This thing is nice. This thing is nice. And I'm not just here showing it to you so we can look at it. I'm thinking about buying this. So I brought my Jeep up here and we're gonna see what they can give me on the Jeep. And if we can get a good if we can get a good deal on the Jeep, I think eighty-five thousand for this is fair. And uh, we may just swap the Jeep out for this today. And I know what you're thinking. You already had a Hellcat and you got rid of it in six months. I know, but I have missed that Hellcat quite a bit. And this isn't just a Hellcat. This is the Red Eye. So it's got a little more horsepower. Look at this. You got the Hellcat logo on the ground right there. You got the SRT door sill plate right there. Embroidered seats. All right, obviously heated, cooled. It's got the carbon package, as I said. Look at that. Carbon fiber everywhere. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely beautiful. She is a gorgeous, gorgeous car. The Speedo goes to 220 miles an hour. Harman Kardon stereo system. You've got all your track packs and all that stuff there, all your little applications. You guys got to tell me right now. Now, they already tried selling me the TRX, and I told them there's no way I'm going to pay 100 and some, 120, 113, whatever it was, thousand dollars for the TRX. I'm not going to do it, but, but I could do 85 on this, but it's all going to come down to what we can get done on the Jeep. I've got the Jeep sitting right outside there. Uh, they're going to take a look at it, try to get an idea of what we can get out of it, and who knows? We might be able to make a deal and bring this one back to the house today all right so while we're waiting on the credit app because you guys know i probably can't even afford that car right we'll take a look at the trx real quick this thing's been sitting here a minute one of you guys need to come pick this up man come get this it's been sitting here too long i think they're asking about a hundred and thirteen thousand for it it's got the ram bar look at that i love this truck man i love the blue color too it's really it's a sweet truck panoramic sunroof you got that really nice metallic blue She's beautiful. Look at this suspension, man. This just tells you it means business. Yeah, she's not messing around. It's a beautiful truck. Oh, yeah. 6.2, supercharged. And a big plastic engine cover. Honestly, come on, Mopar. We, we could do without this. We don't need that. We don't need that. Yeah, this is a beautiful truck. I just couldn't, I couldn't see spending this kind of money on a pickup truck. I spent $85,000 on my truck and it's a, it's a Longhorn Limited, fully loaded, and it's actually made for towing. It's a Cummins 2500 turbo diesel. This thing is fine if you want to play, but for me, like my truck is really for work, not so much for just going out and having a good time. So if you got the money to spend on a toy like this just to play, hey, go for it, man. But honestly, like if it was me, if it was me, well, you already know what I would do. <laughs> you already know what I would do. If it was me and it was my money, I'd be putting my money right here. All right, so we've run into a little hiccup. As it turns out, I may not be able to afford the Hellcat Red Eye. That's okay though, I fully anticipated this. You guys have to remember, and it, okay, let me rephrase. It's not that I can't afford it. I just borrowed $85,000 a month ago for this new Ram 2500 uh, Longhorn Limited Edition pickup truck. All right, I just got through borrowing $85,000 from the bank. 
So it's really not surprising at all that when they ran my credit, it immediately came back with, you've got good credit, but the bank that's been loaning me all of the money for these cars this time declined to loan the money for the Hellcat Wide Body Red Eye. Like I said, I'm not surprised. The salesman's not surprised. We anticipated this happening. And it may come down to, I just may not be able to pick this car up. And if that's the case, well, it's not a big deal. It's just a car. I don't care. If I leave here with the car, great, man. That's super exciting. If I leave here without the car, guys, I'm not gonna cry about it one bit. Now I could sit here and BS you and make up all kinds of stories for why I didn't get the car or why I can't drive the car off the showroom floor, but that's just not me, man. I am, I'm just, I'm humble down to earth and I'm honest, all right? So at the end of the day, if the deal doesn't work out, you guys know exactly why. It's not that financially I can't afford the car, it's just... I borrowed a big chunk of money. In fact, the Ram is the most money I've ever borrowed on any car ever, and I just borrowed it a month ago. So it's not a big deal. However, if the Hellcat Wide Body Red Eye does not pan out, I still intend to trade my Jeep in today on another car. You gotta just stick around because the end of the video, it's either gonna be a Hellcat or I'm pretty sure more than likely it's gonna work out to be another car. This is a, it's still a very quick car. It's not a Hellcat, but it's a fast car. It is a V8 and uh, well, that's all I'm gonna tell you because otherwise I'll give it away. But I just wanna let you guys know, man, I'm gonna be completely honest with you all the time. You don't have to, you don't have to worry about that. I'm not worried about people saying, oh, he couldn't get the credit. I don't care. I don't care. You know, at the end of the day, guys, uh, it's not embarrassing to me to not be able to get enough credit to, to finance another $85,000 car. Uh, and honestly, the more I sit here and think about it, do I, I mean, that's kind of ridiculous. I just financed $85,000 on the truck. Do I need to finance another $85,000? $170,000 for two cars? That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. I don't need it. So the way I look at it is, if I get it, that's great. There'll be some new content for the channel. We'll have a little bit of fun with it. And if I don't get it, I just don't care. Uh, and I think that's really important. If you're going out to buy a car, number one, don't get ahead of yourself, okay? Don't jump into it because you just gotta have it. You need to look at these cars as who cares? You know, who cares? If you get it, great. If you don't get it, you'll get one somewhere else. It's not a big deal either way. The minute you stop caring about the deal and getting into a car, you have the upper hand over the dealership because the dealership wants to sell you a car. Whenever I walk into a dealership, I don't care. And I, they know that. I love David Stanley here, man. I really do. I really love David Stanley here. They take good care of me. And that's why I keep coming back over and over again. It's not sponsored or anything. They just take care of me. And there are no games. There's no BS. They know me by now. They know I don't play games. You know, we were just talking about the financing, potentially not going through on the Hellcat. And I told Caleb, I said, you know, I don't care, man. It's, it's fine. I appreciate you guys trying. And if we can make the deal done, I want to get the deal done. But at the end of the day, it's just a car. I don't care. And it's fine. And you know what? They're going to sell that car to somebody. Whether it's me or not, they'll find somebody else to buy that car. So just don't let the pressure get to you. There shouldn't be any pressure. Okay? Shouldn't be any pressure. Now, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back in and I'm going to see if they've worked something out. And if not, I guess I'll show you guys the car that I think we'll be able to make a deal on today. Let's find out.
takes skill right there. That takes skill right there. And out she goes. Well, cue the comments about how I can't afford to buy these cars and uh, I can't have these things and the fact that I get them, I don't know, means that I somehow can't afford them. I'm so tired of hearing people that comment and tell me what my financial situation is. I am in the finance office right now. In front of me, I have some documents that I have just signed and uh, I have a Hellcat wide body red eye. All right, guys, well, there it is. It's a done deal. Let's fire it up. See what she sounds like here. Oh yeah, that's it right there. I guess we're gonna take it on its first drive to the house. Oh, there's the guy that sold to me. Look, the Jeep is gone. Damn, that thing is loud. Yeah. Is that stock exhaust? Wow. I don't know. Hey, this is Caleb, guys. All right, so as you can see, David Stanley, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram here in, in Midwest City off 29th Street across Tinker Air Force Base. Come over here, holler at Caleb if you're going to get something because they're always hooking me up on this. I'm going to tell you, you took this for a ride a minute ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, you go to the gas station? Yeah. How to do? Is it yeah. dry, drives good? It's, yeah. It's better than uh, the, the previous one. Better than the I previous one? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, let's go. He's going to follow me in the Jeep because I got a. I got an engine hoist because I'm going to be doing a, a pulling an engine soon, and yeah, I got some other stuff in here. I need to get my stuff out of here. He's got a—he's been real nice following me over to the house, man. I appreciate it. Yep, no big deal. Try to keep up. Yep. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. First drive in the 797 horsepower wide body Hellcat Red Eye. It's been a while since I've been in one of these, man. This thing is a boat. I mean, it is a boat, no joke. And getting out of here is gonna be a hell of a lot of fun. It's rush hour, it's three o'clock. Damn it, man. You know what's great about buying a used car, especially one that's only got 3,000 miles on it? Everything that you would do to the car has already been done. Tinted windows, SRT Hellcat badges all over it. Lots of tasteful, Wow. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Boy, she gets it. She gets it. Oh. <laughs> There's the Jeep. Whew. I got traction control on, so don't worry, guys. It's a... Uh, it's gonna be all right. I'll tell you what, these tires, I think maybe they need to heat up a little bit or something, cause uh, she, she, uh... Wow. Wow. <laughs> Whoo! I wasn't even smashing on it, guys. Like, I, I swear to you, I was not, ooh, a fighter jet. All right, that thing's faster than this. Um, I was not even smashing on it. This, it, whew. Okay, I don't even know what mode we're in. I could probably pull up the performance menu over here. Uh, power 797, let's see. Oh, we're in street mode for the transmission, for traction, all that stuff. The engine is in performance mode, 797 horsepower right there. Oh, man. Okay, guys, enough screwing around. I got to get this car to the house. And I got to show it to Jessica because uh, I kind of didn't tell her I was buying this. I just got done with a Copart walk around and I, I had to have it. And now, now we have it. Well, before we go out and take a look at the car in my driveway, I figured we'd take just a moment to appreciate this beautiful, beautiful Harley Davidson that Kind of looks brown in this light, but it's actually called a crimson red on stone white, stone wash white metallic or pearl or something. I don't remember, but damn, that's a beautiful bike. Then over here, we have the Ram 2500. She's looking beautiful as always. Absolutely gorgeous truck. Now let's go to the driveway and see what we got sitting there that replaces the Jeep. And there she is. Oh, yeah. Do you think, girl? Ooh. 
boy. All right, maybe I missed it just a little bit. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, sir. Woo. Honestly, guys, I can't believe she's sitting in my driveway right now. Like, I, I, I really can't believe this is sitting in my driveway right now. Oh, man. Yeah. I love it. I love this carbon fiber uh, sticker here. This thing is amazing. It is. It's absolutely beautiful. I had to turn down the horsepower. Uh, let me tell you, 797 is just a little bit too much, man. It's just, it's ridiculously aggressive. And you know, I'll shut this off here in just a second, but I wanted to make sure you could hear it one more time. Listen to that. Let's go ahead and shut her down. There we go. Yep, let's make sure uh, make sure we show everybody because otherwise nobody will believe it. Name of purchaser, Shear, S-H-E-A-R. Yep, that's me. That's me, 7, 9 to 21. That's the date I bought it. I haven't looked in the trunk yet. We ought to check the trunk real quick. Who knows, maybe there's something, uh, maybe there's something in there. I don't know, let's see. Nope. Nothing in here. No subwoofers. None of that. No. S oh. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Hello there. Um. I don't believe my other Hellcat had these. It's still got the stickers on it. Wow. Wow. Okay. She's got beats, guys. She's got beats. I gotta tell you, man. Uh. I was told that this car is authentic certified by srt as being a one of one there is no other like it this is legit i know a lot of people are like oh it's one of one because i put a red stripe on it no 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 um the paperwork is supposed to be coming in from the previous owner who has like a wall of fame for this car in his shop he was super proud of this car he custom ordered it it's custom built specifically the way he wanted it from dodge or srt whoever you want to call it he had this custom ordered and custom built the way he wanted it and there is no other one like it period so this is not one that you can just go buy. You can go find one just like it at the dealership. It doesn't exist. This is certified from SRT. The paperwork is there to prove it as a one of one. Now under the hood, I think what makes this kind of special is it has a 2.7 liter supercharger. That's right, which means it shares the supercharger with the uh, super stock, the demon, and of course, well, the red eye, because it's a red eye. There it is. There seems to be a lot of debate over the supercharger. Uh, honestly, I don't have time to sit around and argue with it. I'm just going to take what the Mopar people have told me, the, the Dodge dealership, they seem to know these cars pretty well, I think. And uh, I'm just going to go with that, okay? Supposedly, it shares a supercharger with the super stock and the Demon. Um, so I guess the rest of it's what, just a tune? Just a tune to get that extra 100 horsepower? Um, some other, you know, little oddities here. Someone added the Red Eye logo here. This has all been, I think they call it hydro dipped. All right, this right here, this is all stock plastics, but they hydro dipped it and it looks really nice. It's got a beautiful carbon fiber look all the way down. This has been hydro dipped as well as has the uh, valve cover. Well, they're not valve covers, but the, uh, whatever you call it, the engine covers. These covers right here, they're plastic, they pop off. But these are custom painted and hydro dipped as well. Look right here at the SRT logo. If you get real close, you can almost see the jewel in the eye there. It's just so much attention to detail on this. So much attention to detail. 
lots of customizations made to this car to make it kind of a, a more unique one of a kind than it already was. There are some little accents on the interior that have been changed as well. Nothing nearly as impressive as under the hood, I think, but you know, we do have some custom trim all around, where was it? We've got custom knobs. Like I said, again, no big deal. That's, <laughs> that really doesn't matter. Not a huge deal. And maybe this trim here and the trim here may not be factory. I'm not 100% sure on that, but uh, the dealership is going to hook me up with a copy of the paperwork verifying the uh, authenticity of all the stuff that we were talking about just a minute ago, that this is in fact a one of one car. If you look down here, you can barely see that, but that is a red eye logo. When you open the door, it displays a giant red eye logo on the ground. We'll come back after dark and I'll show you that. And just like that, we're out of here, guys. Look, do me a favor. If you enjoyed the video, if you like the car, man, hit the thumbs up button and let me know you like the car. Let me know you like the video. Like I said, I'm not trying to make the car the star of the show or anything. We're not trying to do that here. We'll play with it, have some fun with it. There'll be some videos on it, but it's not gonna be an everyday thing. Gotta love when they start the lawnmowers right when I sit down to mow. Anyway, guys, I am gonna bounce up out of here, but drop your comments below. I got the car for $84,900. I don't know, you think I overpaid? Do you think I got a great deal? Was it a steal? I'll leave that to you guys. Drop your comments below and tell me what you think. I'm gonna get out of here. Share the video with your friends if you enjoyed the content. I worked real hard on that B-roll footage, guys. I really did, and I can promise you, putting it together in post is gonna take some time. So I really tried to make it an enjoyable experience. Big shout out and thank you to David Stanley, Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram. Uh, Caleb over there was my salesman. Again, go, go hit those guys up, man. Honestly, doesn't matter what salesman you get, they're gonna take care of you over there. It's not sponsored, they don't pay me, they don't give me a discount, I get nothing for it, man. It's just one of those things, I get good service somewhere, Number one, I come back, and number two, I promote it on my channel. Absolutely, 100% all the time, and they take good care of me over there, guys. So I am out. I'm going to talk to you guys later. Hey, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, all that stuff, Auto Auction Rebuild. Subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed, and until next time, stay safe out there. I look forward to seeing you all again very, very soon in the next one.